Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on Sunday voiced strong U.S. support for Greece's battle to overcome its debt crisis, saying it was taking the difficult steps required for future growth. Really? Is that what she said? Clinton said Greek's politically painful plan for a medium-term fiscal strategy and bringing down its whopping debt were like chemotherapy, but would bring results in the end. Just like chemotherapy. She is truly an inspiration. Despite financial headaches on both sides of the Atlantic, U.S. officials say ties between Washington and Athens are strong and that Gris has been a valuable partner in NATO-led campaigns in both Afghanistan and Libya. Let's summarize this story, shall we? Hillary is voicing strong United States support for Greece's battle to overcome its debt crisis. What exactly is Greece doing to overcome its debt crisis? I will tell you. It is borrowing even more money on top of its already staggering debt. Its government is completely ignoring the will of its people by raising their taxes and shortchanging pensioners so that wealthy bankers can be bailed out on the backs of the Greek citizens. All of this is being forced down the throats of the Greek people by a very strong military police force. The police will crack your skull open if you don't like the way things are going. Well, that may be true. But look at it this way. The Greeks are to be applauded for helping the United States bomb Libya and destabilize Afghanistan. Really? The Greek government is stupid or at least corrupt to be completely broken having to inflict intense austerity on its citizens all the while spending enormous amounts of money it does not have to wage war in Afghanistan and Libya. You do realize that Greece is in no financial position to wage war on anybody? Why is the Greek government doing this? Well. I suppose the Greek government is waging war in Libya and Afghanistan so that it can borrow more money.